Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Masai School. Uh, we are a 21st century career focused coding school. Uh, my name is Amanwats. I'm an engineering graduate from Birla Institute of Technology, Misra. Uh, I lead the data structures and algorithm curriculum at Masai School. So uh, let me tell you about this video series. <clears throat> Uh, in this video series, we'll be introduced to uh, computer programming. Uh, you will learn how to write basic computer programs. You will learn the basic constructs of a computer program. That is uh, data types of variables, conditional statement, loops, functions, everything. And you will be learning this in Python. All right. So <clears throat> this is a very fundamental uh, uh, video to, you know, getting started with computer programming in Python and uh, this video series is actually a part of the pre-course uh, for the full stack developer program at Mass High School. And now we have decided to, you know, make this course available for all aspiring programmers. So we really hope that it helps you in getting started with computer programming and in Python. So happy coding. Thank you so much. Hey guys, welcome back. So in this section of this pre-course, we'll look at strings in somewhat more detailed fashion. So we looked at string as a data type, which is a basically, you know, sequence of characters, Unicode characters, or, or, or to keep it simple, basically a string is, you know, a sequence of uh, uh, any combination of different types of, you know, data types. For example, suppose four, F, five, six, seven, eight, nine, A, B, C, you know, everything. For example, a string can be, you know, uh, example, String can be something like, you know, anything like that. So this forms a string, all right? So basically a string, you know, is a sequence of characters uh, combined together. So you declare a string, basically this example is a variable which is which stores a string data type. So how do you declare, how do you store a string? You basically put double quotes and whatever you want to store. So suppose you want to store name, suppose you put my size code, all right? point that I want to highlight here is you can treat string as a you know list of characters so what I mean by that is uh, we just looked at list so you can treat a string as suppose you have this and you have a space so this is a string which is you can think of it as list of characters so basically where the zeroth index is m first index is a second index is s you know so you can perform even the similar kind of operation that the list used to support for example if i do say suppose if i do print name index zero okay so let's run this let's see what it does so yeah, you can see it printed M because if it, if it is a list of character, M is at the zeroth index. Suppose I print, if I do four, I run this again, guess what should be the output? Let's see, I because zero, one, two, three, four. So at four, we have I, all right? So this one is the fourth index. So the similar operations are possible on string. If so, it's good to visualize string as a list of character. Suppose I do len name. So what len used to do in the list, it will do the same thing. It will return you the length of string, so it's 12. I mean, it's also including the space in between as one character. Uh, similarly, if I want to, you know, take out the name, I mean, let's say part of name, let's say part of name is equal to name, index from four to say, uh, nine if i just print that thing print part of name let's run this code let's see what it does it did print i space scs because this is where the fourth character starts till the eighth character all right so basically all the functionalities that we just look for a list we can make those work on a, uh, a string as well be it reverse indexing that is minus index or all the functionalities let's look at one more thing which is important here let's clear this yeah there's one thing called concatenating to string so suppose you want to print a string which is 
a version which is formed after concatenating or mixing or say adding two strings. So suppose you want to print hello and say, so suppose you have name. So if I do something like first name, say this is a first name and similarly you have second name school and you want to make a variable called full name which is a first name plus second name. suppose if i print full name what it should print let's look at that so it printed masai school all right because the because what happens is when you use plus sign between two strings is it adds it i mean it appends the second string on the first string similarly suppose i want to put a space in between so what i can do is i can put double quotes space and then i can again put plus sign so whenever you put a plus sign between two strings it appends one after the other you know it just adds that so first name which is masai then we have a space then we will have school so let's print it again now it should have a space yeah it does have a space all right so this way you can work with a string so yeah that's a pretty simple and straightforward thing but i mean if you visualize a string as a desktop character things become pretty easy all right so this is one thing that i wanted to cover thank you